it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 31st of May. I'm Michael Groff. Closing out May, heading into meteorological summer with temperatures below climatological averages. In fact, uh, we'll be around 8 to 12 degrees below normal today and tomorrow. But a warming trend will take place by this weekend. Along with that, there might be a few showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain of our state. But here in Phoenix, oh yeah, you know we're going to stay dry. All right, let's talk about it here first. We'll check out the almanac from yesterday. 100 degrees the afternoon high, 74 the morning low. And that is exactly average for this time of the year. Record high, 114 degrees. No thanks. Way back at the beginning part of the 20th century. All right, let's check out the upper air weather pattern around the nation. Not changing all that much. A gradual change uh, overall, though. We're still looking at this area of low pressure, kind of some unsettled weather, uh, not only over the southeast, but the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, plenty of uh, showers and storms for Florida. And some warm temperatures across the nation's midsection. A trough coming in here to the southwest and upper low. And that's going to hold temperatures down for the next couple of days. Here's the watch warning map. Some red flag warnings over parts of New Mexico. We've got some uh, issues with air quality over sections of Wisconsin and Michigan. But overall, again, rather quiet right now. The convective outlook for today. you got that standard slight risk of severe storms. Over eastern New Mexico and west Texas, the marginal risk extends northward up into Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming. And yeah, you, you see there's a little bit of green on the map there in northwest Arizona. There might be an isolated shower or storm up there today, but again, I would say that risk is pretty low. Let's check the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide. Yes, a little light precipitation possible over far northern Eastern Arizona up around the four corners, parts of New Mexico. But here in Phoenix, it's just not going to happen. This is the heart of the dry season. We've been talking about this for a while. Statistically speaking, it just does not rain uh, this time of the year very often. And we'll take a look at what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail right now. To do that, we'll explore the models. Here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And you look at that, you see there's an upper low here over Arizona pretty impressive little feature and yeah in ordinary circumstances that could bring some rain but it's just there's not a lot of moisture with this feature this far south nevertheless down to the surface an isolated storm could occur over northwest arizona today most of the precipitation will be confined to the sierra the intermountain west new mexico west texas the four corners region but just staying mostly away from us but in Phoenix, sunny sky, breezy conditions at times, and not bad for the last day of May. Highs, upper 80s and low 90s. Tonight, clear sky, and hey, it could be pretty cool for this time of year in the outlying valley locations. Maybe upper 50s there. Otherwise, most of us will be in the 60s. And then tomorrow, more of the same. Sunny, upper 80s, low 90s, not too bad. Friday morning, again, upper six, uh, or low 60s to about 70 for the low, but then afternoon highs do start to warm back toward the mid-90s. And then the weekend, reality sets back in. Highs around 100 on Saturday, I'd say 100 to 104 maybe on Sunday and Monday. Isolated showers and storms could occur over the higher terrain, especially Sunday. Um, but again, most of the precipitation should generally stay to the north and east of Arizona there is an upper low to the west of us, and we are watching the possibility of a few showers and storms over parts of California, the Sierra, and maybe even trying to sneak their way down into the lower valleys. But uh, again, around here, just not going to see that happen. Tuesday, high temperatures might start to drop back a little bit, though, with another low pressure coming in here. 
Highs could fall back toward the mid or upper 90s. Here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 7th of June. Yeah, look at that. Low pressure here across the southwest. This is kind of an interesting pattern we're stuck in here. You've got sort of a high latitude blocking pattern. There's a big ridge up there across central and northern Canada. And we're seeing kind of this southern stream, uh, this almost... Sometimes in the winter, we see this kind of split flow develop. It's very unusual to see this in June, kind of a split flow here where we have these little areas of low pressure that are moving across the southern tier of the United States. I can't remember the last time I saw this in June. I know it's happened, but I, I cannot recall when. when. Um, nevertheless, this provides an opportunity for another round of somewhat lower temperatures i don't want to use the word cooler necessarily but high temperatures may drop back into the low to mid 90s if this is right and continued low pressure and, and negative height anomalies may start to draw some moisture in here eventually for at least a few showers and storms mainly over the higher terrain and then as we go out 10 days this is friday the 9th of june and again broad low pressure continues to sit here over the southwest and heights are below average, so temperatures would be below average, probably not by an overwhelming amount, but I would expect highs would be somewhere in the low to mid 90s if this is correct, and and there might be a shower or storm someplace across the state, and we'll watch model trends to see if anything could happen here in the deserts. I would sincerely doubt it, but stranger things have happened. All right, let's check out precipitation here for Phoenix. This goes out through the 14th of June off the European Ensemble. And it says, no way. There's two members that show precipitation. Um, two or three members. So we're, we're just not really worried about it. And temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah, it's going to get warm this weekend. It's got us up to around 102 degrees. Uh, temps will back off a little bit next week. And maybe even a little bit more than what's shown here if persistent low pressure should happen to occur. And maybe even accompanied by some moisture for the higher terrain. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com. She is my Michelle. Thank you. So much for watching. All of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. Please be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. Even with these somewhat lower temperatures, you still want to drink plenty of water if you're going to be out and about. Have yourselves a beautiful Wednesday.